The COVID pandemic continues to take its toll on Michigan, where hospital systems now feel the brunt of the rise in new cases and deaths. Researchers say although hospitalizations remain low, cases among children are up. CW50's Chris Walker has more. More than 6 million children have tested positive for COVID in the U.S. since the start of the pandemic, but researchers from the American Academy for Pediatrics say cases peaked in September where more than 252,000 kids contracted the virus. Dr. Dennis Cunningham, a pediatrician and assistant medical director for infectious disease at Henry Ford Health System, says kids returning to in-person learning and relaxed max requirements contributed to the spike. It is the cause and the reason for this outbreak. Last year, we had really strict rules for people wearing masks, and that's why schools were able to stay open without outbreaks. This year, there's no mandate. According to an AAP report, 46% of children 12 to 17 years old are fully vaccinated in the U.S., but the number of vaccinations are declining each week. It's a little bit of a rolling the dice, saying that my kid's probably going to be okay, so I'm not going to worry about it. And People will probably be right about that, but again, I worry they're going to bring it home to mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, other relatives who may wind up in the hospital or even die from it. Next week, the Food and Drug Administration's Vaccine Advisory Committee is set to meet to discuss emergency use authorization of the COVID-19 vaccine for children. If your child's sick, don't send them to school. You're just going to cause more cases and we're never going to get this under control. And by Early to mid-November, we're going to have the vaccine available for children as young as five years of age. To track local COVID transmission cases in schools, visit michigan.gov slash coronavirus. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.